made mistakes. Federal prosecutors and, uh, said uh, Tuesday that Duncan about. Hunter resigning his seat that was not part of his plea deal, but they believe it was understood by Hunter and his defense team. If Hunter resigns before Friday, Governor Gavin Newsom must hold a special election to fill his seat. But if he waits to resign, Newsom can decide to either hold a special election or continue with a general election and leave the seat vacant until January. On special elections, you have a smaller turnout, and usually the smaller the turnout, the better it is for Republicans. Democrats need a whole bunch of people to show up to be able to hit critical mass to win elections in contested districts. If a special election is called, the winner would serve out the rest of Congressman Hunter's term until the following January. That person would then become the incumbent for the November 2020 general election. That's going to confuse the heck out of voters, and it's going to break up the ability of people to get a message across, particularly whoever, if there was a special election and a Republican would be most likely to win it, that would give them a definite advantage going into November. Currently, former Congressman Daryl Issa State Senator Brian Jones and former San Diego City Councilman Carl DeMaio are running on the Republican side. Amar Campanajar, Hunter's opponent in the 2018 election, is running as a Democrat. The 50th Congressional District is one of the reddest districts in California and has been represented by both Duncan Hunter and his father for almost 50 years. Priya Shreether, KPBS News.